Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing another topic in ethics, which is moral courage. Come and join us. At the end of the video presentation, the students are expected to be able to define what is moral courage, explain the step in developing moral courage, and apply the five step in developing moral courage in various settings, and lastly, to differentiate the six types of courage. So what is moral courage? Let's watch and analyze this video. So what is moral courage? That's the big question that we need to answer. There are two terms related to moral courage, which is moral and courage. We define moral as the belief of what is right or wrong, or the idea of what is bad or good, especially on treating or acting towards other people. Courage, on the other hand, is the ability to do something even taking risk. Courage is not the lack of fear, but having an amount of fear that is appreciated to the circumstances. Courage is also the bravery and the choice and willingness to confront agony, pain, danger, uncertainty, or... Now that we have learned the two terms related to moral courage, we are now ready to define what is moral courage. According to Rushward M. Kidder, Moral courage is the courage to do what is right, no matter what the cost. It's taking action when your values are put to the test. Meaning, moral courage is having the will to speak out and to do the right thing even when constraints are present. Operationally, moral courage entails discerning of right from wrong. Second, acting on what has discerned even at a personal cost, and lastly, saying openly that one is acting on one's understanding of what is right or wrong. Overall, moral courage is the courage to take action for moral reasons, despite the risk of adverse consequences. Courage is required to take action when, when one has doubts or fear about the consequences. Moral courage, therefore, involves deliberation or careful thought. Moral courage, what is not? First, when you fail to respond to a situation wherein you are badly needed. Second, to impress only. You know, this is very common to politicians, especially when they try to deceive, deceive us with their uh, sugar-coated words. But at the end, they are only after their personal benefits. Third, inconsistency towards moral conviction. So how does moral courage sounds like? And how does lack of moral courage sounds like? On the right side, how does moral courage sounds like? For example, let's volunteer. You shouldn't talk behind her. That joke was offensive. I am going to campaign for, will you sign this petition? On the other hand, lack of moral courage sounds like, it's none of my business. Nobody else was doing it. So why should I? She got what she deserved. I might get into trouble. There's no use trying to change the system. It's just too strong. So now let's move on. So how does moral courage look like? And how does lack of moral courage look like? On the right side, we show what is moral courage look like. First, doing homework or chores without being reminded. Second, a teacher who gives all students an equal voice regardless of race, socioeconomic status, religion, gender, or sexual orientation. 
a company whistleblower risking job loss, financial costs, and or legal repercussion, reporting a crime, and lastly participating in a peaceful protest. On the other hand, lack of moral courage look like walking away from someone in need, breaking a promise, lying or cheating, grabbing the spotlight for someone who has earned it, laughing at someone's misfortune or accident. Developing Will and Moral Courage 5 Tips Tip number 1. Develop and Practice Self-Discipline The concept self-discipline involves the rejection of instant gratification in favor of something better. Developing Will and Moral con Courage involves developing self-control. It includes nurturing the ability to stick to actions, thoughts, and behaviors which leads to moral improvement and success. Number 2. Do mental strength training. One of the most simple and effective methods under this mental strength training involves declining to satisfy unimportant and unnecessary desires. Some examples. Don't open the internet for a day or two. Drink water or juice in spite to your desire to have a beer or liquor. Avoid chatting with your gossipy friend. For a week, go to sleep one hour earlier than usual. Resist the desire of gamble. Number 3. Draw inspiration from people of great courage. History is filled with outstanding examples of moral courage whom we rightly celebrate. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Mahatma Gandhi, Aung San Suu Kyi, and especially Jesus Christ and Apostles. Number 4. Repeatedly do acts that exhibit moral courage and will. Practice makes perfect. If one wishes to nurture the moral courage and will in him, he must strive doing the acts that manifest them whenever opportunity allows it. And the last one, avoid deeds that shows lack of moral courage and will. This involves evading acts that shows irresponsibility, cowardice, apathy, rashness, imprudence, ill will, and wickedness. There are six types of courage. Basically, you have known the definition of courage, where it is the ability to do something difficult even when there is a risk. And uh, courage is similar with bravery. So let's first talk about physical courage. Physical courage is the courage most people think of first. Bravery at the risk of bodily harm or death. It involves developing physical strength, resiliency and strength for example running into burning buildings as a firefighter facing an enemy on the battlefield undergoing chemotherapy climbing a mountain protecting a child from a dangerous animal and falling from a tree in physical courage we employ all our senses our five senses like our touch taste hearing sight and smell that is physical courage now we go to social courage social courage is a type of courage that is also very familiar to most of us as it involves the risk of social embarrassment or exclusion unpopularity or rejection it also involves leadership for example you are standing up tall and being able to greet the world with your head held high and feeling comfortable with your own skin. Social courage means not conforming to the expectations of others, but being willing to show your true self even if it means risking social disapproval or punishment. It means being able to express opinions and preferences without checking to see if they are in line with everyone else's opinions and preferences now we go to intellectual courage this is speaks to our willingness to engage with challenging ideas to question our thinking and to the risk of making mistakes and it means telling and knowing the truth examples taking as long as necessary to learn something rather than being satisfied with a superficial understanding Offering opinions and listening to others' opinions. 
That is intellectual courage. Now we move to moral courage. Moral courage is a type of courage that involves doing the right thing, particularly when risk involves shame, opposition, or the disapproval of others. In here, we enter into ethics and integrity, the resolution to match word and action with values and ideals. For example, doing homework or chores without being reminded, reporting a crime, and participating in a peaceful protest. That's are the common examples of moral courage. Now, let's jump to spiritual courage. Spiritual courage, this fortifies us when we grapple with, with questions about faith, purpose, and meaning, either in a religious or non-religious framework. Examples, reaching out in times of need and asking for help. Discovering that there are in fact a lot of resources in your community and building meaningful rituals in your daily life such as quiet contemplation with a cup of tea or a walk in the woods with your kids or talking with children openly and honestly about that. That is spiritual courage. You show your courage through spiritually. That is spiritual courage. Now we move on to the last type of courage, which is the emotional courage. Emotional courage is a type of courage opens us to feeling the full spectrum of positive emotions at the risk of encountering the negative ones. And emotional courage also is strongly correlated with happiness. For example, helping friends grieve a loss. In here, you show your courage to your friend through comforting and embracing her because of her situation and showing her that you are always in her side no matter what happened and giving her a sound encouragement which she can understand the situation she was in. Next is public displays of affection. Working as a social worker, counselor, or emergency medical personnel. And the last one example of emotional courage is expressing gratitude.